One of these memory sticks has started to go bad and is now causing crashes and blue screens. Can you tell by looking at them which one is bad? Me neither. That's why in today's video, we're going to test these memory sticks with Memtest 86. I know there are several possible reasons a computer might crash, but in my experience, it's usually the memory that's the problem. We can test and diagnose this using a program called Memtest 86. All you'll need to do this is a flash drive and a little spare time. To start things off, navigate to this site, memtest86.com. Once there, click download to download the Memtest 86 zip file. Now, extract the contents of the zip file to a folder. And last but not least, run the image USB executable. With your USB drive inserted into the computer, click the checkbox next to it in the list to confirm the install destination. Next, make sure Write Image to USB Drive is selected. Now, make sure Memtest 86 image is selected. And finally, click Write. The system will ask you to confirm the installation into your USB drive. Select Yes to continue. This screen is letting you know that the USB drive will be erased. This is your last chance to cancel. If everything is fine, click yes to continue. This install process will take a few minutes. It's best to leave the computer alone until it's complete. Once the USB drive is ready, it's time to shut down the computer. Once the computer has been shut down, pop open the case. And depending on the number of RAM sticks you have, you will either have to remove one or three sticks of RAM. Essentially, we want to test your RAM sticks one at a time. Once you only have one stick remaining, start up your computer and boot to the USB flash drive. If you don't know how to boot from a USB flash drive, I have a video for that in the description below. Also, a card should appear on screen now. Once you reach this menu, you can either choose to do the default scan or a single pass. I usually recommend the default scan as it's better at finding issues. For the video demonstration though, I'm going to choose the one pass, so I will select two. This process of scanning RAM can take a long time. The more memory you have, the longer it takes. So it's best to do tests like this when you don't need to use the computer. After a while, you'll either be met with a screen like this saying you have no issue, or another screen that'll say you do. From here, shut off your computer, remove the RAM stick, mark it as either being bad or good, and swap in another stick. Now, scan the next memory stick. Do this routine for every stick of RAM you have until all of your RAM has been checked. If you find that none of your sticks are bad, then your issue is likely something else and further diagnosis is required. However, if you find that a RAM stick is bad, you can replace it with a similar make and speed model of RAM, and you should be fine. Something of note, while it's not true for all RAM, many brands of RAM have long or even lifetime warranties. It's a good idea to look up your RAM and find out if you can send it in for a free replacement. A few minutes of research might end up saving you quite a bit of money. Well, there you have it, guys. Hopefully this video was helpful, and as always, if you like this video and you want more like it, do us a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.